Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a new nail art tutorial for you, obviously, and this time it's a beach theme. It's still summer and yeah, beaches and summer, that's just a thing. So I decided to go with a um, summer theme this week. It's actually still quite simple. As usual, I went for sort of a um, impressionist-ish style. Um, and I'm starting out as usual with an acrylic nail. Don't care about the like whole French tip I've got going on. We're going to cover the paint anyways. Um, if you're doing this on your natural nails, I recommend using a matte top coat or nail polish first as a base. Just because on something matte, it's just going to be easier to paint. The paint will have more to adhere to. Um, so it'll slide around less easily is the point. And what I'm going to do as usual is to start off with the background. So I want most of that to be blue. And then for the water I'm using a darker blue first. And then while it's still wet I'm also removing it off the side of my finger. Yep. And while it's still wet I'm going to add uh, white and different shades of blue. And then white again and a different shades of blue again. And just going back and forth. Not blending it too much just so I get a result of waves. And by doing this with a broader brush, as you can see, um, you just get a more random effect. Like you could try to do this with a tiny brush, but then you really have to think about where you want the waves to be, which just makes the entire thing far more complicated. Oop. That was the sound of me almost dropping my laptop off my lap. Anyway, um, yeah, wholesale destruction aside. Just go back and forth between the colors until the waves look like you want them to. And remember, we're going to do kites. I didn't mention it before, but you could see it in the thumbnail and in the beginning of the video. But yeah, we're going to do kites, so yeah, you may want to have sort of a wild sea, because there's going to be wind, otherwise the kites would be flying. Yeah. I wanted to go for an ochre shade for the beach, but then I realized that my ochre shade is sort of nearly invisible, as you can tell. Um, so I decided to go over it with yellow and white and a little bit of brown to get the right sand color. Which actually turned out to work better because I could make the uh, sand darker towards the water, which is what sand naturally does. It is darker than well, it's darker when it's wet and when it's not wet. Yeah. So it becomes sort of an ombre effect. Then once that's completely dry, uh, I'm going to start on the actual kites. I want it to be completely dry, just because otherwise the background might blend with the foreground, which is not what I want. And as always, I'm starting out with basic shapes in white, um, both because it's easier to fix if I make a mistake, and also because it's you know just a surefire way to make sure that the other colors are going to be war far brighter than when you would just put them over the backdrop. Might make a difference what kind of acrylic paint you use though. Like mine is very cheap, so it needs a, bit, a little bit of extra help to really be opaque. Brushes are just nail art brushes from eBay, by the way. But everything can also be found below. Like a whole list, whole list. A short list, but still a list of everything I used uh, can also be found in the video description, by the way, in case you want to know. Then for the colors, well you can do whatever you want of course. Um, I went for a different design for each and every kite because it's just a little bit more realistic. Like I've never seen people actually, you know, agreeing on what colors of kites to use on a certain day. Um, so yeah, I just went for different ones. But if you want a more uniform look with like similar colors for each kite, that's fine too of course. I mean, if you're doing this on your nails, then you know, it's all up to you really. By the way, I gotta admit that I never actually, like, I went for these kites for my nails because I want sort of a vintage look for it. Because I just love anything vintage. But the only kite I have is actually one of those that's like, more like bat wings. Not the kind that you can actually, like, hang onto or anything, like, it's not that big. Uh, but this is the, the kind with, like, two lines that you can, like, sort of steer and make it go, like, right above the ground and stuff like that. 
I don't know, I just like it more, like for a start, these like classic kites I could never e even get off the ground. But also they just hang there and you can try to get them as high as possible, but you can't really do much else with it. And I'm more into things that I can make mildly dangerous. Um, so personally, for actual use, I've always preferred the more bat wing like kites. I have no idea what they're called, but yeah, that kind. Still, aesthetically, I do prefer the uh, vintage ones. Also, of course, don't forget to also color the sun. Yes, I almost actually forgot to do so. Then for the outline, I did wait for it to dry a little bit, um, just so it wouldn't smear. Um, and really what I always say with the outline is the scariest part, because black is like a very difficult color to fix if you make a mistake with it. So just use a very thin brush, use a little amount of paint each time. You, like it's better to go over something twice rather than to have like way too much on it immediately. And just take your time. I really do feel though like an outline just really makes a difference. Like I always outline the thing that I want to stand out most, in this case the kites. Um, and it really does direct more attention to them. It really makes them pop out of the background. Then it's time to let everything dry again, and then it's time for top coat. Um, you can use a shiny one or a matte one, a gel one, a normal one, whatever you want. Um, because I wanted to take pictures of my nails, I decided to go for a matte top coat. And because I'm hasty, I also went for a gel top coat, because you know you can cure it and then it's done. So yeah, this is what it looks like shiny. And then here's what it looks like matte. And that wraps up this entire uh, nail art tutorial. So here's the final result. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you did enjoy it, please click the like button. It would really help me out. And if you want to see more of my videos, you can always subscribe to my channel. Um, I only do a new art tutorial once every two weeks, actually. And other than that, I do a uh, makeup video twice a week, each week. Um, that's really my main thing. So yeah, um, and that was it for today. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next time. Bye!